In this video, we will be studying about the real and nominal GDP. See, again your nominal GDP means your GDP at current prices and your real GDP means your GDP at constant prices. For this, let's take an example. Let's suppose there is only one good that a country produces. Good X. There is only one good. The country produces 100 units in an accounting year. And the current price of which is rupees 10 per unit. So your GDP of country is... 100 into 10 that is your rupees 1000 and you can also express the country's GDP as 100 X means 100 goods in terms of this is in terms of rupees and this is in terms of quantities. So when you express your GDP in terms of rupees in monetary terms, you call it as nominal GDP. When you express the GDP of a country in terms of quantity, you call it as real GDP. Now see, this was an example just to explain you that what is real and nominal GDP. As a country, it is very difficult to calculate your real GDP using this quantity method just because there are n number of goods and services produced. And their, their units are different like some are measured in liters, some are in kilograms, some are in units, some are in meters, etc. Right? So you cannot add these units because in order to add the unit must be same. So it is very difficult to calculate your real GDP. So how do we calculate real GDP? In this case is say so formula to calculate real GDP is your nominal GDP divided by your price index into 100. This is how you calculate your real GDP. Let's suppose the nominal GDP of a country for year let's say 2014-15 is rupees 150 billion and price index is 120 so your real GDP in that case will be 150 Divide by 120 into 100. That is nominal GDP divided by price index into 100. So this will give you rupees 125 billion. Is your real GDP. Now this price index is known as your GDP deflator. What is GDP deflator? I told you that GDP deflator measures the average level of the prices of all goods and services produced in the economy during an accounting year. You price index is what? Price index is your average price level of all the goods and services produced in the economy during an accounting year. So GNP de, uh, GDP deflator is measured as the ratio. See so your GDP deflator can be measured as the ratio of nominal GDP 
divide by your real GDP into 100. This is your GDP deflator. In this case, you can find out your GDP deflator for current year. That is your nominal GDP for the current year divided by real GDP for the current year into 100. I hope you have completely understood this. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.